All I remember is flying eggs and stuff. Max, what if I... Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 awesome TV shows only 90s kids will remember. In darkness and in light, this will be your guide. Alamar awaits. For this list, we'll be going over the underrated or forgotten TV series, both animated and live action, that will probably be nostalgic for those born in the 1990s. If there's a hidden 90s gem that you remember but which we forgot, remind us in the comments. Number 10. The Mystic Knights of Ternanog there were a ton of Power Rangers rip-offs during the 90s, drawing footage from Japanese Toksatsu to create weird hybrid stories. Few of them worked out, but one of the few to do its own effects and story was Mystic Knights of Ternanog. The show drew on Irish mythology and featured a team of four unlikely knights battling an evil queen who threatens their kingdom. I'm afraid you're too late. As you can see, I've already taken care of as promised. Turner Nog has a surprisingly good story and some great action and effects for the time. Unfortunately, it only lasted one season and fans were left on a cliffhanger. Still, the magic of this series is worth revisiting or discovering for the first time. Danger lurks for kills. Number 9. Eek the Cat On Fox Kids, also the home of X-Men and Batman the Animated Series, children could tune in to watch a show about a frazzled purple cat. <laughs> The titular Eek is an unfailingly helpful feline whose good nature usually lands him in a huge mess of trouble. The show also features a lot of pop culture parodies which went completely over our heads as kids, but which you'll probably easily understand now. We can ride together! Hey, it's groovy, man! Right arm, bro! Later on in its run, Eek featured several additional shows under its umbrella, including The Terrible Thunder Lizards and Clutter, making it three forgotten shows for the price of one. Number 8. Bobby's World Ever wondered what Howie Mandel did before America's Got Talent? This. Hi everyone, I'm Howie. Welcome to Bobby's World. And you know what I really hate? Of course you don't, because you don't know me. You know what I hate? I know you hate this too. When somebody like flicks you like that, right in the eyeball. Well, other stuff, but this too. Mandel voices the titular character Bobby, a kid with an overactive imagination, as well as the boy's father, and himself in live action segments that bookend the show. Was that a great show or what? I'm asking you because you saw it, I didn't. I was in it. <laughs> That's why you're lucky and I'm not. Yeah, it gets pretty weird. Bobby's world follows Bobby as well as his eccentric family members in their daily lives and all the strange hijinks that they and Bobby get up to. Despite running for a long time, it isn't well remembered, which is surprising because its theme song is aggressively memorable. Number 7. Space Cases A Nickelodeon sci-fi series, Space Cases, follows a group of students from different planets who become trapped on an alien ship, along with several teachers and their attempts to get home. Bova from Uranus. Heat beam from Uranus. And the butt of a This one flew under a lot of our radars since it only lasted a year, but it was a quality show. Well, granted, it was made on a shoestring budget, but that only made the excellence of its writing and some of its guest stars like Mark Hamill and George Takei that much more impressive. You don't seriously expect me to fall for such an obvious bluff, do you? <laughs> Plus, it helped launch Jewel State's career appearing in cult hit sci fi shows. Really skilled Saturnians can knock down a building with a single blast, although it'll take me years of practice to get that good. <laughs> Number 6 Goof Troop. Be careful with the paste. This application could lead to sticky problems. Any Disney fan worth their salt knows a Goofy movie, but somewhat less well-known is the TV show that inspired it. Goof Troop follows Goofy the dog as a single father raising his son Max, as well as their friendship with their neighbours. A sitcom starring Goofy 
had to be a weird sell, but it turned out great. The contrast between Max and Goofy's personalities leads to a lot of humor, as does their neighbor Pete's love-hate relationship with Goofy. Hmm, oh, I can tell. You two are doing some job! <laughs> The show certainly helped reinvigorate Goofy as a character and created some lasting Disney favorites. Goof Troop may not have stayed best of friends forever with our collective attention, but it's still a jam, much like its theme song. Number 5. Samurai Pizza Cats Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cats while most probably dismissed it as another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles clone when it first aired, Samurai Pizza Cats is something else entirely. It was originally intended to be an English version of the anime cat ninja legend Teyunde, but translation difficulties led localizers to just make up their own dialogue. The result is a hilarious parody action series with American pop culture references and a ton of original gags. There may come a day when the world no longer needs the Samurai Pizza Cats, when evil has been abolished and justice reigns supreme, or when this show has been cancelled. Samurai Pizza Cats has a bit of a cult following, and there are plenty of 90s kids who know exactly who to call when they want some pepperoni. You know the best thing about the Samurai Pizza Cats? No, tell us, Princess Fine. They deliver! Number 4. Wishbone PBS dared to wonder how to introduce children to classic literature. The answer was surprisingly simple. Just make sure the lead character's a cute dog. Okay, um... Now we got a shake on it. Uh-huh. And uh, now we got to turn around in a circle three times to seal it. Wishbone follows the titular terrier as he imagines himself in various roles from famous books. And I am a simple forester who demands that you pay a fair toll for passing on my highway. The stories told may be condensed versions of the real books, but the show never shies away from serious subject matter, while remaining a funny and entertaining program for kids. Rumors of a film adaptation have us hoping that more people than just 90s kids will be asking, what's the story, Wishbone, in the future? What's the story, Wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? Number three, The Pirates of Dark Water. The alien world of Mer is being devoured by dark water. Only Ren, a young prince, can stop it. When most people think of Hanna-Barbera, they think classic Scooby-Doo or the Flintstones. However, the company also made one of the 90s most underrated adventure series. The Pirates of Dark Water is set in a fantasy world and follows a motley crew seeking to free the world of Mer from dark water. In their way stand pirates and supernatural forces. The master navigator here thought he could outrun Bloth's scout ship with a lot of fancy moves. The show creates an impressive original fantasy world and features some compelling characters and storylines. Fans have long lamented that it was cancelled before it could reach a conclusion, but they still treasure what adventures they got. If only Ayaz and Tula knew what fun they were missing. Number 2. Biker Mice from Mars Yes, this is a real show and that's actually what it's called. <laughs> Truly, we have peaked as a species. Biker Mice from Mars is one of many shows that capitalized on Ninja Turtles, making it clear that anthropomorphic animals and action go together like chocolate and peanut butter. The show follows a trio of motorcycle enthusiast rodents from the Red Planet on Earth after their own world was devastated by aliens. You just sacked your lunch. Oh, we junked our junk food. Mm, looks like it was quite a spread. When those same aliens target Earth, the biker mice use their motorcycles, signature weapons, and cyborg enhancements to battle them and protect the planet. While there was a revival in the late 2000s, the original is better remembered, if still rather obscure. Watch me blow past that snort from Saturn. <laughs> yep, that's me. I'm the baddest motorcycle mama jamma in the universe. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. California Dreams. Saved by the Bell clone, maybe? But we still watched it anyway. Surf dudes with attitudes, kinda groovy, laid back moves. The spooktacular New Adventures of Casper, a spin off of the 90s Casper movie that was also largely forgotten. Rosebud. Rosebud. Poor 
Boy, that's the best movie I ever saw. Life with Louie, a cartoon based around the childhood of comedian Louis Anderson, still seems weird. You wrote me, Louis? What'd you write? Nothing. Louis? I just wrote that I missed you. The Adventures of Pete and Pete, suburban weirdness and fourth wall breaks galore. The way I know the summer is a goner is when my brother Pete and Artie, the strongest man in the world, go to the beach and try to beat up the ocean. Phantom 2040, a pulp adventure hero of the future. What are you gonna do now? I'm open to suggestions. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ghostwriter Mystery shows for the kids are few and far between, and one of the best is Ghostwriter. <laughs> The show follows a group of kids who solve mysteries with the aid of the titular ghost. The only catch is that the ghost can only use writing to communicate. The hints it gave the kids made solving the case for those at home a little easier and gave Ghostwriter its own spin on the supernatural mystery genre. And did we mention that Samuel L. Jackson is in it? What is going on? The show has recently been remade, but the original remains near and dear to those of us who grew up at the tail end of the last millennium. This is just weird enough to be really interesting. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.